Welcome to Storytelling DIY, where I show you different methods to create stories in the moment. And today I'm going to show you a technique to tell stories with the help of story cards or picture cards. The information to these cards you can find in the video description. Now, to make it even more interesting, in creating a story, I will put them upside down so I do not see which card will come up. And that makes it even more interesting because it, the cards decide how the story develops. Let's see how it goes. Once upon a time, long, long ago, there lived a little creature in a forest. Every night it listened to a dog howling to the moon. This dog lived on top of a mountain overlooking a land long forgotten. This land was ruled by a queen. The queen's best friend was a retired chef who now still enjoyed creating delicious dishes every day. This chef collected water from a nearby waterfall for the tea that the queen especially liked to drink. Near the waterfall lived an old lady. She was a herbalist. And she also created this labyrinth where people couldn't go walk through and inside and enjoy themselves. One day, when the chef was lighting a fire in the kitchen stove, she didn't believe in electricity, something happened. A visitor came. This visitor was a painter. The painter lived in a little house in the forest. And she had come to the castle of the queen with a little boat with a, to, to say something. Oh. She said danger is approaching our lands. And she knew that because she not only painted portraits, because she could also paint the future. So everybody gathered in the middle of the forest around the Talking Lake. It was called Talking Lake because this is where the people gathered when they had something to discuss. And today it was the question how to avert the danger. And how to do that was to ask the herbalist to give them this bottle with a potion inside that they then poured into the lake. And the lake water reached every creature in the forest. I guess. Oh yeah, and also the spiders. 
And when the spiders knew what was going on, what they did was they enforced their spider webs. And within their spider webs, they caught the danger and then they made a big cocoon out of it. Now I could continue the story with the whole set of cards, but I decide now that the next card will be the end, will create the end of this story. Let's see what it is. The wise owl in the forest said, I know how we can get rid of the danger in the cocoon. I will pick it up with my claws and fly to the nearest active volcano and drop the danger in it. And this is what happened and the land was saved. So this is a story that developed through the choice of the cards or through the order of the cards or whatever cards came up. Give the story that you've made a title. I would call this teamwork because when you have a title you remember the story better. And you have also noticed that basically one sentence per card is enough but once you see connections within the cards already on the table, you can talk more about what you see and how the story develops. Now, you can do this for yourself or you can do it with friends, come visiting or within the family or if you are a language teacher or a teacher, you can also use these cards to do this. Once you have created the story, you can actually, if you want, take a photo, get a hard copy printed and then with the title laminate it and this is the beginning, for example, of a very individual storybook for your family, for your classroom, however you like it. So that's why I always suggest to give any story you create a title. Now one more thing I want to show you, you can also do with this arrangement of the story cards is to tell the story from back to front and you will probably get a totally different story. Let's see what I can come up with. Now, one day, an owl met its best friend, a spider. And they went for a drink. And this drink that they took was in a tent. And this bottle was for everyone. Whoever was thirsty could go there and drink from it. The tent seemed empty to most people and it stood near a lake in a forest. But the tent was never empty because a person lived there who was invisible and the person only got visible to those who came with good intent to the tent <laughs> and did not destroy anything. Then the person became visible and then they had good conversations with this person. Near the lake in this forest there was a castle an ordinary castle with a moat and an entrance. But within the castle was another castle made of gold and the windows were made of 
precious stones. But the most interesting thing about this castle was that within the golden castle there was a courtyard, a big one. You couldn't guess it from looking at it from the outside with the forest and in the forest was a house. And in that house lived a painter. And sometimes the painter left the castle because every painting, when she finished it, she burned to ashes. And with these ashes, she created this labyrinth. And you might say, well, if you put a labyrinth and make a labyrinth like this near the sea, there will be wind and the ashes will be flown away. You are right. And to help the painter was this lady who lived near the sea and he was, she was one with water. And she used the water from the waterfall and mixed it with the ashes from the paintings to create, uh, to help keep the labyrinth in place. And in the forest outside the castle, there lived another artist and she was a sculptor. And she liked to make sculptures of people. And here you see her latest work. And she used clay and the clay had to be dried first. So she climbed up a tall mountain with her latest work and put it on top of the mountain in the sun to dry. And this dog lived on top of the mountain, made sure that nobody touched the work until it was dry and could be hardened further. When the dog didn't have this job, it lived in a little hollow in a forest. So that's the story with the same card but told in reverse. Which title would I give this one? The Artists. Now, if you like to try out your storytelling ideas, you can take a snapshot of this and then tell your own story with your own, your own words. Again, this was a way to tell stories with the help of story cards. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye!